You know, there's an old saying, right? Right tool for the right job. Well, I'm working on my trailer, and uh, between two of the boards, there's a piece of metal that keeps the, the, the bed from laying flat. And so I'm trying to reach my vice grips down in between the boards to grab that metal and kind of rock it back and forth and snap it off. And these just weren't long enough. And I know that saying is right tool for the right job. But you know what? I mean, I think there's a lot of times where you try to adapt your, your tools to make them work and so I just need these vice grips a little bit longer and so if I could just oh, oh sweet well fall is here and it is time to winterize my drip system and to blow out my hoses and get them ready for winter now I've had a lot of people a ton of people asking me how do I blow out my hoses and, uh, well, my garden hoses and my drip systems and stuff? So today I'm going to show you how I do it. It's really simple, but there is one thing that you have to have, and that is called a blowout plug. Basically what it is, is it attaches to your, your hose or your drip system, and then you attach your air compressor to it and blow them out, blow it out. And I know it's been a long time since I did the... Uh, since I did the drip system video, and I probably should have showed this last fall, and I didn't, and um, I know good intentions, right? <laughs> so, but I'm going to show it today. Okay, so I have two different blowout plugs here. Uh, this blowout plug, I'll show you how to make both of these, by the way, but this plug here um, is for a standard garden hose, which also will fit your drip irrigation system. And so that is for all my outdoor stuff. Now this one here, now they're both three quarter, but the difference is the threading. This one here is to attach to um, an, a, a PVC thread, basically. Most people don't use these. Um, I have uh, lines running in my garage that go to different hose bibs that I can use for outside. So when I want to blow those out, my garage is not heated, so when I want to blow them out, I have to use this to attach it. So you, for the most part, if you're just blowing out garden hoses and drip irrigation systems, you're only going to need this here. But I'm going to show you how I make this anyways in case you do have PVC lines that you want to blow out. So let me show you how I make both of these. Okay, so the cheapest way to do this is to get yourself a three-quarter inch threaded adapter. And what this is, is it's threaded on one side and it's smooth on the other. It's for adding PVC pipe to uh, a threaded pipe. So, uh, yeah, it's got threads on one side and smooth on the other. And then you get yourself a plug and you put your plug in here and this is, uh, it's solid. Now what you could do is if you had a small piece of three-quarter inch PVC pipe, you could pop in there and then put a cap on, would do the same thing. However, the problem is at our hardware store, all of the caps are rounded on the top, and so you're not able to put a valve on it. So I just went and got one of these. It's called a plug. So this is a threaded adapter, and this is a plug. And then I went to the auto parts store and got tubeless tire valves. Now, this is, you, you don't need a two-pack. They didn't have a single pack. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will show you I'm going to drill a hole in this and then slide this valve in. Uh, together, I think this was these were two ninety nine, I believe, and this was only a couple bucks. So you're looking at about four, five or six dollars for all three of these. Okay, so I just clamped this in the vise here, not too tight because you'll crack this. It's just plastic, and then this is a nine sixteenths drill bit. And then this pops right in and it's going to be pretty tough to get it in there because it needs to be nice and snug so you just kind of got to work it to get it in there until it pops there's a little lip there and you got to get it over that lip so you just kind of turn it a little bit till it goes in and snug just like that and there you go <clears throat> and then this gets glued into here like that and then we take and attach our air compressor here and blow our lines up
Uh, this is called a, a hose adapter and it is uh, threaded three-quarter to go onto uh, any garden hose or onto your sprinkler system or your drip system. And then it's got a three-quarter inch thread on the other end. And then you get one of these which is just called, uh, it's called an air valve. But this air valve is one quarter inch here and this is, you'll see this is just for a standard uh, just like a, a tire valve and um, so this is three quarter this is one quarter and you'll have to get yourself one of these it's just called a bushing a galvanized bushing which goes from three quarter it screws into here yeah if you're smart enough you can get in there screws in there like that and then this screws into here and you're all done and this here cost me all together all three pieces was eleven dollars and seventy seven cents so anyways, now, this option here, both of these options are, these are female to go onto a threaded male. If you want to go onto another end and you want to thread it into something, then you'll just get yourself an adapter which goes from male to female on either one of these and just ask them at the hardware store if you don't know where to find them, but that's simple enough. I'm just going to go onto all the, the male ends with the female connector and blow them out. Okay, so the way I blow out my drip irrigation system, I take my end plug here and I attach the, the blowout plug to this. I disconnect these lines at the ball valve and then I blow this out. And then once this is completely free of water, I just set it off to the side. It, I've done it for years. It, it can freeze all at once because there's no water in this system here. And I take it out because it allows me to work the bed in the spring. Um, I could leave it in here, which I did a, a couple years past. I left it in for two years, and I just blew it out and left it. But um, I want to redo this bed, and so I'm taking it out. So it doesn't matter. You can leave it in place or take it out. But um, And then I attach my blowout plug to the ball valve, and then I disconnect everything at the hose bib, and then I just back blow it all the way to up to and the water just uh, flows out near the hose bib and it's it's all the same concept you can do this with with all of your irrigation lines okay so that's how I blow out all of my irrigation lines and my garden hoses now if you don't have one of these or don't have access to the parts for one of these I'll put a link below so that you can go out and just buy a blowout plug they're not that much money but um, this is, this is worth its weight in gold. Now, if you don't have an air compressor like I have, because I know a lot of people are going to say, well, I don't have an air compressor, um, you could probably just get one of those cheap ones at Harbor Freight that plug into the cigarette lighter of your car, because it doesn't take a lot of PSI to blow the water out of those lines. Um, I, my air compressor, I usually let it just run up to like 30 or 40, which is not much compression at all, and then uh, it blows the water out like like nothing so um, it doesn't take a lot so I think one of those in in your car I can't guarantee it because I haven't tried it but one of those that plugs into the um, cigarette lighter should blow the lines out also so it doesn't um, yeah it doesn't take a lot so there is my blowout plug and that's how I drain all the water from my irrigation system and my garden hoses alright so I hope that answers all the questions that I've been getting about it so anyways thanks a lot for watching guys and don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you later